What's going on guys welcome back in today's video we are going to learn about web scrapers and web crawlers so let's get right into it there are many ways to extract data from web yet web scraping and web crawling are the most popular ones these two terms are used interchangeably but in reality they are very different so let's first go over the definitions of both of these terms if we talk about web scraping web scraping also known as web harvesting or web data extraction is a process used to extract data from websites whereas if you talk about web crawling web crawling is the process of reading the content of the websites for indexing purposes so this is the definition of these two terms so if you only wanted that part that is it so you have the definitions but if you want to learn in depth about both of these terms keep watching the video so let's start with web scraping as I already told you it's a process of uh, extracting data from websites so for example I have a website here uh, it's called books to scrape.com and as you can see, it lists out some books, their prices, and uh, some ratings. Yeah, this is what this website is displaying us. So uh, web scraping in this case would be uh, extracting data about all of these books, the name, the price of the book, and the ratings of the book, and storing them in a CSV file or in a database like MySQL database or in an Excel sheet. For example, I have created an Excel sheet here and as you can see, I am storing the name, price and ID of the book. So what I can do is I can go back to this website and let's copy the name of this book and paste it right there, just like this. And I can also go back and grab the price as well real quick and paste that in my Excel sheet like this. So what I have done here is I have manually scraped this website. So what I can do is I can go over all of these books and copy the name and the price manually one by one and store them in an Excel sheet. Or what I can do is I can write a script in Python for example and that script is going to automate everything for me. So I don't have to do anything. I just have to figure out how to extract this data from this web page and rest will be done by my script. And the script that's going to do all of this for us is called web scraper you don't have to write it yourself there are various tools that uh, are already available that you can use to scrape data from websites so basically in a nutshell what a web scraper does is it goes to a web page looks for the data that we want it to scrape and takes that data and then we store it in some database or some file so that's the process of web scraping now coming back to web crawling what is web crawling well web crawling is the process of reading the content of websites for indexing purposes so before moving any further let's first understand what indexing means the indexing can be best understood by looking at a book so if you have any book at your home what you can do is go to the last pages of that book and you will find a section named index so right here i have a pdf of a book and this is the index section of that book and if we try to examine it you can see we have some keywords on this index and along with it we have the page number so this index is actually telling us where you can find this keyword in the book so if i am trying to search anything in this book for example i want to learn about this topic called decorators i will go to the index and search for this keyword decorator and this index will tell me where in the book uh, this book is explaining about decorators so if we go to this page number 115 you can see i'm on page 115 and you can see we have a little section about decorators in this book so this is how an index works in the book also, if you notice that every keyword in the index is sorted in an alphabetical order, uh, which makes it much more easier for us to find any keyword. If it was not there, if the sorting of keywords was not done in the index, I would have go through all the keywords in order to just find one keyword, which would have been a tedious job. But uh, it's good that everything is in an alphabetical order. Now, if I'm searching for any keyword starting with F, for example, I'm uh, trying to search for F string in this book, I'll go to the F section of the index, search for F string, and then go to this page number 116 and read about F strings. So this is how easier it gets uh, when we have an index in a book. Now, I want you to imagine this scenario that uh, you have a book that doesn't have an index and you have been given a job to write an index for that book. How would you do that? Well, you will read that book from start to end and create a list of all the keywords and along with keywords store the page number where you found them. And then at the end, what you can do is or 
from the beginning what you can do is you can store them in an alphabetical order so this is how you will uh, manually create an index for a book well the process that i just explained to you is exactly what web crawling is well web crawler for example google goes through all the web pages on internet not all exactly uh i think 70 percent of the web pages on the internet uh, as of now and uh, it reads the content of all those web pages and it tries to find out some keywords and then it stores those keywords along with the link where it found those keywords now if i go to google and i search for for example python now google has already created an index where it stored the keyword python and the links where i can find them so right now you can see uh, this is uh, what I'm getting from Google. I'm getting these links uh, where I can find this keyword Python. So this is how uh, indexing works uh, in case of a web crawler. And we have a big example of a web crawler, which is Google. Also, you need to understand that uh, the web crawler searches for the metadata. You might have heard this thing called SEO. So if your websites or web pages have keywords related to what it's about, the web crawler might rank you higher than the others. So for example, this thing is on the second place in our Google web search. And if we try to examine this website, if I open this website and view page source, you can see it has something called meta tags. If you don't know what a metadata is, metadata is actually the data about data. So uh, yeah, I know it's really confusing, but what I mean to say is, for example, you have a video and you upload it on YouTube. So the title for that video that you keep it on YouTube is the metadata for that video. So title, the file size, the length of the video, all of that data, which is actually the data about your video is called the metadata. So uh, it's not just in case with video, it can be uh, with any kind of data. So you can have a data about data. So Similarly, on web pages, if you have a meta tag, just like this, just like we have some meta tags on this website here, and you can see uh, this meta tag has a name of keywords. So right here, they are defining the keywords for this uh, web page. So we have lots of uh, keywords there. They also have another meta tag, and uh, its name is description. And here they have described uh, this page in a few lines. That's what they are doing here and few more meta tags as well. So when a Google crawler comes to this web page, when it's scrolling, uh, it, it might have some complicated algorithm by which it crawls. I'm just giving you the gist of it. So when it comes to this web page and it uh, sees these meta tags and it uh, sees these uh, keywords, so Google might take all of these keywords along with the link of this uh, web page and store it somewhere and index it. And then when someone searches on Google, for example, Python, the Google is going to search in its database, where was this keyword Python? And it will find that uh, this link has uh, this keyword Python and it will display us in the search. That's what we got when we search for Python in our Google search. So this is how it works actually. So I hope now it's clear to you what the difference is between a web scraper and a web crawler. This video is actually a part of video series that I'm going to start. Uh, it's going to be about Scrapy, the Python framework to create web scrapers and crawlers. So if you are interested in creating your own web scrapers and web crawlers, then consider subscribing. I also have a few more videos on web scraping. If you are interested, you can go ahead and check them out. So if you are interested in Scrapy series, then consider subscribing. And yeah, if you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. And please do consider subscribing. That keeps me motivated for creating more content like this. I hope you learned something new from this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.